Hello everyone, and welcome back to my let's play of Rocky Red, Down the Bunbarrows. Let us continue the bunny capturing. We are apparently only 30% through the game. And after some uh, thinking between the episodes, I have decided that for, uh, for regular bunnies I am going to be recording as usual, but for baby bunnies I will be doing exploration on my own and uh, planning how to make the yet uncaptured, uncreated baby bunnies before recording them. And I will probably do that in a separate episode. Or at least not on this one. As in this episode, we are still continuing with the crossroads, with North 15, where we are in the level All Roads. What can we do in this level? From what I can see, uh, are there any infinite loops I could create here? This is not an infinite loop, because if the bunny enters from the left, it will go straight. If the bunny enters from the right, it will go up. If I put a trap here, the bunny will come out here, so there will be no loop. So, no, with one trap I don't see any circumstance where the bunny will get trapped. Uh, here, the, okay, so crossroads are not viable. The bunny will always, <coughs> the bunny will always escape. Mm, this looks like a plausible spot, because if I drive the bunny here, I drive it up, then the bunny will see that this is a dead end from this point. The bunny will not choose left because it can see a trap here. The bunny will choose right, then go left, and then come out into a trap. Yes, that is actually doable. So I need to get the bunny some... I need to get the bunny here. How do I do that? Um, hmm. Well, I think I... If I go here, okay, the bunny will come out here. Then, oh, uh, I think if I just put a trap here, the bunny should go here. Up. Oh. Okay, this, I think, is the solution. Success! Not 16. A step. Oh boy, I guess because we are searching for a needle. Uh, oh, that is not what I wanted. Uh, there is never a situation where I can drive the bunny into this as an entrance. So the... Oh, oh this is so complicated. Um, where could the bunny not see a trap? and decides to turn. Well... Huh. Yeah. Uh, I am going to focus on the zones which are not a crossroad. For example, this one. Is it plausible for me to trap a bunny somewhere here? Uh, if I go from the bottom can put the bunny one up and the bunny will come out here uh, so if I put the trap here the bunny will come out exactly where the bunny is right now so that's not very interesting uh, next what is the else can I do if I drive the bunny down, nothing interesting happens. If I drive the bunny up, oh, oh, I have two traps. I have not one, but two traps. Okay. That's opening up some opportunities, maybe. Let's start from the start. <clears throat> but it is also creating complications because I need to make two moves. What can I do with two moves? Okay, if the bunny is... I push the bunny into here, so I put the bunny up. 
the body will naturally choose the upper exit. If the... Oh, uh, yeah, that might actually be very easy. Because if I close this and this... Oh, the bunny will... Well, I'll, I'll just try it. And see where this goes. Okay, the bunny is now trapped. Yeah, the bunny naturally goes there. The bunny still naturally goes there. But if I put a trap here... Okay. Oh, the bunny sees me. So now the bunny is just not going to go into the dead end. Oh, he still will. Then it's the same situation as before. Okay. Uh, let's get back then. Yeah, the bunny escaped into here and will naturally try to escape there. So what else can I do? Okay. I think that... Ah. And now the bunny is going to escape up. Well... well that, no, that doesn't seem productive. Uh, this is probably too far for the bunny. Hmm. I don't have a plan at the moment, but this is not very good. Okay. Is there something to do with this? Uh, yeah, I'm not really doing anything smart here. Okay. And we are back to the initial state. Uh huh. It is indeed a haystack. Oh. Okay. Okay, is there any technique from the previous level that I, I could apply where the bunny would turn and not realize he is in a trap? Okay, well, uh, uh, I don't see anywhere where I could push a bunny from the side into one of these T-junctions. Because the they are all blocked off from the sides. Also, this place is all kind of suspicious. That there is this block. Uh, I wonder if it is possible for me to do anything with that. Like, for example, if I do this. Can I then create a trap so yeah, the bunny is just going to escape? Well, is this helpful? The bunny will just go down. Oh, this doesn't feel very helpful. Yeah, the bunny will just go to the right. Okay, did I accomplish anything with this? Not really. Huh. Okay. So, this feels about right. Uh, right. No, the bunny is always going to escape here because I approach either from the top or from the left and the bunny will run to the left and escape this way. So this is not good. Hmm. What else can I do with the bunny? This is an obvious dead end. The bunny is going to go one down and run. Uh -huh. so here the bunny is actually... Right, the bunny is going like this. Makes sense. Now if I approach the bunny is going to run. And if I approach from inside the bunny is also going to run. Um, hmm. No, crossroads do not seem to be especially productive. These things. So, if I approach from the top and have blocked off this exit, 
the bunny is going to go to the left and then come out here. But here the bunny, I cannot trap the bunny because the bunny is going to see the trap and go up. So that is not helpful. At least not that I can see. If the bunny is located here and I approach from the top, naturally uh, the bunny is going to go here. And if the bunny cannot come here, the bunny will come here. And after that I think the bunny is going to come out here, which is also not going to help, I feel like. Right? If I... Alright. Um, like this. Let's drive the bunny. Alright. And now the bunny is going to come out in that... Okay. So, normally the bunny chooses the straight path. Uh, And after that, yeah, the bunny chooses that path, which I have already seen, so that also doesn't feel like a good solution. From here I can just uh, only drive the bunny upwards, which just does this. And now it's putting the bunny back. And if I block the bottom, the bunny will come out on the top, which also doesn't feel useful. Uh, what about this part where the bunny does a sort of complex movement? This feels like it could maybe be exploited somehow. But this is a very meta approach that is not necessarily true. Um, Hmm. Hmm. What am I not seeing here? Okay. Uh, new hypothesis. If I do this, this is a non-obvious dead end. How do I get the body into this uh, this position? I think like even this position. Well, if I do... No, this is not uh, applicable because I cannot push the bunny from the bottom. But I can do this. Damn it. You bastard. Yeah, no, he's just going... Yep. Okay. Uh, what if I close off the top entrance? Ah, the bunny is still going to come from the bottom because I cannot close the... Well... Damn it. You bastard bunny. Ah, no, this is not, not a good approach because the bunny is always going to run away there. Uh, hmm... If I do this and <coughs> then push the bunny like this and then close this hole. Ah, no, now the bunny is still going to choose. Well, no, the bunny is. There we go. That was the solution. <laughs> this is not what I intended, but this was the heat loop. Okay, so one, done, no. Loops can be very small, and this looks kind of like a rocket ship, I guess, is what I would describe it. Or maybe like a person with one eye. Alright, I have a single trap. I also have a single move I can do, because this is the only thing I can do with the bunny. So what is the fun tunnel? Well, 
naturally it feels like I should do something like this. But it is... Uh, Okay, let's say I block this off. Mm, okay, symmetry can matter in this game because the bunnies choose left over right. Ah, and now I cannot uh, get... I see. Okay, then let's block off the other side. Because bunnies choose left... Does it matter? No, what, what am I doing? Uh, okay, I'm not sure what I was just doing. I think I lost my mind briefly. Okay, I come from the top, driving, bringing the bunny here. Well, if I do this, the bunny is going to get scared again and come upwards. Uh, where I... Hmm. But the bunny will not see a trap. There we go. Okay, that was much easier than the previous level. Machigolation. I wish I knew what that word means. Let me look it up. Machigolation is a sort of castle structure where you can pour hot oil from the top. So based on the name, I'm guessing I need to push the bunny from the top down to the bottom somehow. Uh, I see a possible dead end already. And it is this place. If I get the bunny into this tunnel, or rather into this position, I should be able to drive it a bit down, then well it's a trap, then grab a bunny. How do I do that? Uh, hmm. Great question. So I need bunny to be about like I, I need the bunny to come into this vertical oh if I come well maybe I can just place a trap here uh, damn it okay now the bunny is at yeah, this is a bad position uh, now the bunny is here but this is also a bad position. Right? Okay. Uh, if, right. Okay, if I close this. Oh, the bunny is not going to go forward. The, bu uh, the bunny is just going to go up. And there. And... Okay, and now the bunny fell down. And I can uh, I can drive the bunny this no uh, right the bunny is going to choose left over right so what I need to do is place this in advance. Go here. Ah, but now the bunny is not going to go there. Damn it. I thought I had something. But maybe I still do. And hey, what if the bunny sees a dead end? The bunny goes too far. And now I cannot grab the trap. Ah. Okay, how do I get the bunny in that position? Uh, I see where the, I see where to trap the bunny. I don't see where to uh, how to get the bunny there. Ah. Yeah, the bunny is going to make two steps. Oh, wait. The bunny... 
bunny came upwards, right? Oh no, the bunny is, I see. see the problem with... The problem is that I was a fool, because this is absolutely doable. There we go. The bunny is now trapped. This was entirely solvable. And I just couldn't see it. And now we have solved crossroads for the northern part. There are still yet more crossroads. Uh, I also think I maybe should look in the different bun barrels for the uh, secret areas, which are not normally accessible. Because, for example, in... Uh, let's open the computer. And see where we had a uh, pickaxe. So, uh, I think... Uh, we didn't have a pickaxe anyway in the north levels. Yeah, it's only uh, depth 13 where we are getting a pickaxe for the first time. Uh, which also means I could enter this side. So... Let's go to depth 13 and see what's going on there. Why are we... Ah, no, this... Well, no, I cannot do that. Okay, I only have one pickaxe and I... Yeah, there is no way for me to get there. Uh, is there a way for me to get there from here? Also, no. Okay, never mind. This is not the answer. But what was going on here on this side? Depth 12, 11. These are all unknown depths. And there is a shovel on depth 8. E8. There are a whole lot of missing levels. Let's go to the east and see what we can achieve. Yep. Uh, doesn't matter, since I'm just trying to get down. Uh, no, nothing is accessible. Or is it? Uh, um, are these borders? Mm, let me look at the map. the right depth? Hmm. Which, I am E4. This is E4. Oh, I I see. Uh, ah. Okay, so these two areas are something I could... Yeah, no, no, no. This map is not very helpful to what to how I understand reality. <laughs> okay. So how could I uh if I wanted to achieve depth or I would probably want to get like here. Uh, which is where a bunny is on their feet, so no, this is not possible. Uh, or rather, not because of the bunny, but because there is a solid floor here. So... Okay, step two. Maybe. No, depth 2 is not a... Uh, depth 2 is not a... S no, actually, depth 2 is navigatable because I can keep doing this. 
and then get go one ah now I see the problem it is the block well then what I can do is this ah it's changes but uh, this would not help me because I would not be able to get the bunny bunnies to meet okay well good to know at least aha but now i am in the minor okay this yeah let's have these bunnies meet why not and make a hole ah they do not appreciate me making it. Unless I do this. Okay. Okay, there is no way for me to... Yeah. Ah, but now they just escape. Okay. Well, at least I can grab them. Then I can proceed north and emerge in the glitch area, from which I can do this and get locked. Okay, and then let's go south. Let's explore. South is a different glitch area. And the hangar. Okay, so there is a glitch bunny here. So I need to emerge here, which, uh, yeah, which is uh, a mineable block on depth 2. How do I get here, though? Because there is this in the way. Ah. Uh, I am not sure. How do I get here? Hmm. <laughs> This is okay. Oh, so how they have? Oh, right. I got here from the north, probably. No, I couldn't have gotten from the north because on the north I have a cage. Um. Hmm. Okay. Uh, depth six. This is depth five. Is full of. Uh, as a full bottom, but the C5 doesn't. So from C5 I can get to depth 5. Uh, yes, from C5 I can get to E5. And well, no, I would not be able to. Yes, I would be able to jump into a hole if I was in any of these blocks. Then I would be in depth 6, from which I would be... Okay, so, the corners would be an issue, I see. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 this is complicated. <laughs> okay, fine, let's get to depth 8, as I was planning before. about to be the end of the episode but uh hopefully i will at least see what the hell stopped me on that beat uh shallow shallow down down 
skull. Oh, I see. Uh, well... Yeah! Why didn't I do that? Uh... Ah! Huh. Yep, that's doable. Are the pillars any better? So, pillar is to up and then all the way to the right. Uh, no, there is no way I... Well... Uh, two up, yes, so here. Ah, and this is both, because this is where the pillar is. <laughs> okay. So, definitely no. Uh, yeah, no, this is the pillar. Oh, I see what blocked me. I need it to be right in the center. Okay, <laughs> so this was a happy exit. Uh, let's grab this. And grab this. And grab this. And this is where we will end the episode, and tomorrow continue our investigation of East 9 Bunbarrow. Thank you for watching, and have a good day. Goodbye.